apheresis is a series of um, procedures that are performed on patients and also on donors where we take blood from the patient, we pump it into a machine, we separate the blood into its individual components, and then sometimes we take one of those components and we keep it to do something else with it, like cells to be made into CAR T cells. Or sometimes we'll take that component and we'll throw it away, we'll discard it because there's something in there that's causing a disease. The rest of the components of the blood, we send back to the patient. So we pump those back to the patient. So it's uh, really a method for removing a specific component of the blood. In the setting of CAR T cell therapy, we're actually responsible for collecting the, um, basically the raw materials that are used to make the CAR T cells. So we'll have patients who are going to undergo this therapy present to the apheresis unit. We take a look at their veins and their arms to make sure that we're going to be able to put needles in to draw the blood into the machine. Uh, if we can't, uh, then they may have to have uh, some sort of uh, central venous line place to draw the blood. But once we do that evaluation and we get that figured out, then they'll come back to us at a future date and we'll have them live in a bed. Uh, we'll connect them to the machine either through their veins or their arms or through a line in their neck if that's necessary and we'll uh, pump blood into the apheresis device. It separates it. It returns the stuff that we're not interested in, but it keeps uh, the white blood cells, specifically the lymphocytes. Um, once we have enough lymphocytes uh, to actually make the CAR-T product, uh, then we're done. That's usually about four hours, so four to five hours is uh, how long the patient's hooked up to the machine and in the bed. Um, once we're done, we disconnect them. We take those cells and we send them off uh, for somebody else to do the manipulations and the manufacturing to make them into CAR T cells. Occasionally, we may not collect enough cells in one collection. It's pretty uncommon. And in that case, uh, we would have the patient come back for a second day uh, to collect some more cells to have enough available to manufacture the CAR T cell product.